While President Barack Obama nears a decision on more troops for Afghanistan, American soldiers trying to contain a deadly Taliban resurgence work with the only reinforcements to hand, the Afghan National Police, or ANP. The more that we can wean them off of us and make them go do everything more solo and understand that we're in the, we're in the support position and they're in the, the main effort, that that's going to be, once again, better for the people of Afghanistan. Welcome to Stratfor, I'm Colin Chapman. On this morning, they're close to the town of Manari, making their way across an open field in the heart of Taliban country. One look through the binoculars and Amsden spots armed men watching them from the woods. His troops handle the tree line and send the ANP to gather information and suspects. It's a warning shot, a chance to surrender and avoid casualties. There are no takers. Amsden confirms the ANP's location before calling for mortars. The shooting ends instantly. When an ANP officer comes back several minutes later with no suspects and no information, the 31-year-old sergeant is clearly frustrated. Uh, Taliban commander, he's one of those the pep members. talk is effective. The same policeman returns with most of the village's males of fighting age. Ahead of Obama's decision, America's NATO allies have been asked to send more troops too, but so far only Britain has made a modest commitment, and that on condition other partners do so as well. Coalition warfare is inherently weak, unless there's a clear immediate danger that threatens all of the allies equally. The entire alliance is prone to fracturing over divergent interests. Obama's got the same problem with the inherent weakness of democracies in terms of waging long-term wars in faraway lands. Nationally, domestic support after eight years of war is crumbling. But more importantly, Obama's own party support is already fracturing. So only one of Obama's many problems is that there's very little popular support for further expanding the scope and the resources committed to the mission in Afghanistan. With all of this, he's trying to balance his domestic agenda, including health care, dealing with resurgent Russia and an intransigent Iran. And it's just not clear how much bandwidth the administration has or is willing to dedicate to the Afghan problem over the long term. Meanwhile, Japan's new government has told the Americans it intends to stop its mission refueling U.S. warships in the Indian Ocean. Its defense minister saying it's deciding to refocus its efforts, as he put it, on helping the Afghan people rather than the U.S. military.